Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good afternoon, good evening. No matter what time of the day it is that you're watching this, my name is Clarissa Young and I'm your fab motivator. Hi, sisters. Um, I am home. I've been home for some hours now and I am doing well. I see all of the messages and so forth. I'm trying to tie this braid back, right? Because I still gotta be somewhat cute. <laughs> Uh, I see all the messages and I thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the love and for the support. I will not be responding to all the individual messages because I'm resting, okay? So please know that. Um, but the tummy tuck was a success. Um, I still got arms. Um, we did not do, thank you, thank you so much for the love, Miss Terry, Miss Dolores, Miss Angela. We did not do the arms because my iron was too low um, to do both procedures. And so for my safety, they did the tummy tuck, which I was able to ask and answer in advance. Hi, friend. I was able to ask in advance um, which which one I'd rather do, and I'd rather be snatched, okay? Um, however, they did do a more extensive tummy tuck, which she also said that even if my arm was low, she would not have wanted to do two procedures. I promise in a couple of days to go back and read any comment that I missed, all right? Love you so much, love you so much, love you so much. Um, so I have two incisions. I have a scission across and I have an incision down, all the way down, um, pulling me all the way in. I'm to get up and go walking every three hours. I took my first walk, um, which was about 30 to 40 minutes ago, and I took three laps around um, the inside of my complex, which is it's not big at all. It's a parking lot, you know, um, and I felt really good. I did come back take the walks and then do the drain and I felt a little lightheadedness and so I know to not try to do both at the same time to sit down in between and you know not rush and overdo it um but I'm feeling good I am on pain meds right and I'm gonna make sure that I keep them going but also I'm not a person that's big on pain medicines if you know me after all my surgeries, I had medicine left over. Like, I don't want to be reliant on anything that's temporary. But however, for the first couple of days, I will be taking them just to make sure that I don't feel what they did. They did sew in my, my muscles to pull everything in. Um, love you so much. I am resting. Listen, this hubby or my son, one of them pulled the recliner into the front room. I think that's what I'm gonna be sleeping in. I got this wedge. I paid $134 for this wedge and I don't really like the wedge that much. We'll see how it goes in a different stage. I, I wasn't all that crazy about the wedge beforehand and I'm not all that crazy about the wedge right now either. Um, but the chair is nice because it's one of those old school recliner chairs, it rocks. And so as I'm trying to come up, it sits up as well. Um, I got some good sleep in that thing today. Listen, y'all. They put the oxygen mask on. They said, we're going to give you some oxygen. They said, just take deep breaths. And, um, they said, you know, I'm waking up. They like hubby here and they rolling me to the car. I'm, was I even in the wheelchair? Was I, I was in the wheelchair? I'm like... Only way I knew it was my abs was sore. And they wasn't like way sore, but they were sore and I got this binder on. I'm like, I pray to God they did it because my, my abs is already sore. If they, if because before we got there, they like, all right, my love. I'm like, it's done, you know? And so I'm like, they didn't even tell me you going under, you know? Um, Maybe because I told them I do, you know, battle with anxiety and nerves. And so they like, let's just do it and don't say nothing to her. Um, but yes, it went really, really well. And I am happy. So I just have the tummy tuck, the arms, 
um, which the arms wasn't a really, really big deal with me. Listen, I was 515 pounds. Um, so I'm, I'm not, it's, it's not me that's really in, in, like, have to get the arms. The tummy tuck is what I really wanted. Um, I'm more concerned about my thighs than my arms, you know, but, um, and Fab says y'all got a meeting in a minute, so I'm about to get off this live so y'all can be on time for y'all meeting. Yes. Um, I'm not doing a meeting if anybody's concerned. Our sister minister Denise is doing a meeting for those. And so don't worry. I'm 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 rest. I'm a rest, okay. Um again, I see all the text messages. Well, I just saw all the text message I sent the big sisters a group I sent our prayer leaders a group I spoke on the phone with my pastor I sent my family a message outside of that I'm going to relax and rest okay and you'll get updates this way I love you so much but I want to relax okay um they did tell me that I need to drink a half a hundred thank you I'm seeing all the comments love you so much thank you when I talk too much I get light at it um, and they tell me I need to have 150, um, grams of protein every day. And so, yes. And to stay hydrated, I go back tomorrow to the doctor for a follow-up. Did they tell you what time? All right. So I need to check and see if I got text for them, but I go tomorrow. And then because I'm local at the facility, she said she want to see me for the next couple of months because, again, the procedure was a very extensive procedure. Um, I got some pain pills. I got some antibiotics. I have some muscle relaxers. I can tell I look like I'm about high right now. Um, antibiotics. And it's something else. Uh, what, what is all of this? It's a... Pain pill or oh, muscle relaxer. These drains, somebody recommended that I get the drain pouches. The drain pouches is good. I'm not going to lift up too much and show anything. Not right now. I won't show any incisions right now. But give me uh, a day or so and I will show the incisions. But it's, I, I feel like it's gone now i will say and then i'm gonna get up off of here i am agitated with this little binder that they gave me not because it's tight but the way i'm shaped my waist is small and so it's rising and they said we're responsible to make sure it stayed down but i i think mine is too long i think i gotta tell them to give me a smaller one um, I always had that issues with waist trainers, but what I normally would do is have my pants or something on top of it to keep it from bulging. And so now I don't have, they sent me home, no panties. I'm like, can I have some panties, please? Like I'm one that I might not sleep in them, but during the day I need some drawers. Okay. And I got my, I got my big drawers on too. So y'all leave me alone. Listen. Hmm. Yes. Um, yeah, and so what was I saying? And so that's that's the, the biggest the biggest thing, making sure I'm not overdoing it so I'm not lightheaded, right? I think I saw Miss Ramona on here. Yes, Miss Ramona. I still I still got them on. And they they up there, they ain't fell down. But I love you all so much. Um I wanna make sure that this is well documented and keep you up to date. And so sometime tomorrow Hey, Miss Ali. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Sometime tomorrow, I will be back on here and um, and share. Okay. And I've been taking little clips as well. Who putting up angry faces? Hey, God, Mama. I've been taking little clips as well that you'll get other little tad bits of what's going on later on. I'll put the video together. Okay. But right now... On a scale of one to 10, pain level is about a three. Praise God, my church is praying for me. Uh, around, they prayed for me the entire time that I was in surgery, the prayer leaders, 
uh, my pastor has been so beautiful reaching out to me, making sure if I need anything, if I need a nurse, if I need food and so forth. And so between them and hubby and Tyler, I'm good, I'm good. And I thank you so much again for all of your love and all of your um, support and your messages and so forth. I will get back to it. Is it 730? No. All right. Again, Fab Sisters, y'all got a meeting tonight. So make sure you make it to the meeting. Give um, those that's inside the accountability group and the weight loss course. Make sure you give um, Sister Denise all the love and all support just the same if it was me. And so, love you. I promise to go back and read all the comments not tonight. But I will go back and read all the comments, okay? Love you. Talk to you later. All right. And I've been eating watermelon. They said to eat light. And that's what I got a taste for. I don't really have a taste for anything else but some watermelon right now. And so that's what, I, that's what I've been eating. I want to get on the scale. They didn't tell me how much skin they removed. And so... I, I want to get get on a scale. Yeah, these drains is a mess as far as making sure you kind of milk the lines to make sure. I don't know. Maybe I have Tyler bring after I take my, I'm going to take one more walk and it's dark, but I'm going to take one more walk. And then after that, maybe I'll get on the scale since I'll be up and, and see what I'm looking like. Um, but yeah, the drains are a mess because you got to really milk them to make sure that there's no clogs in there as well. And so, but I'm good, sisters. I don't know if they gave me some extra medicine to make me good, and so I'm praying that this continues um, on tomorrow as well, right? I won't be like, oh, day two. <laughs> All right, love y'all. Love you, talk to you later. Bye-bye.